Hey everyone, so I'm explaining this scene today. Everything that scene is done on Flash CS6. I wanted to make this video because Flash has this bad rap of being this really primitive program, but if you can use all the effects and I don't even know how to use everything on here right now, but you can do some pretty cool stuff by just manipulating the tools. So this is my first talking video. You can kind of tell that I'm not really good at it at all, but I hope you find some useful information in this not really tutorial. I do go over a few little techniques here and there, but overall if you know the basics with drawing or animation, it shouldn't be too hard to follow along. Also, if you can hear you will be able to hear this chugging noise in the background. It's not a fan, it's really just my computer on its last leg about to die. And it's also just recorded with inbuilt computer mic, so nothing fancy. This is just like a learning experience for me and also seeing if others are interested in the process of animation. So with that out of the way, let's just get right into it. All right, so this is my first animatic. It's pretty horrible but it gets the job done so right now I'm going to work on the roughs This is the rocks. Um, I also added like a little bit of indication of um, you know what's going to be happening with the eyes and also the little blush marks. Like that's not final. Yeah, it's just to give me an idea of what it would look like at the very end. And now that I've done this, I'm moving on to doing the fun process of outlining everything. It's been two hours, my hand is in pain, and I have finished the outlining. And it's like this. It looks super anime. Um, but, I'll just put this on with. But, after this, I'm going to do the coloring. Uh, the rest of the animation is. Uh, there's not going to be any shadows to it, but because this is such a dramatic scene, I'll probably do uh, a two-tone shadow over it, and then after that, I'm going to do like some like super anime um, effects over it. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see if I can manage that.
this is the uh, finished, oops, finished coloring. Um, yeah, so I figured I actually should talk about my process. <laughs> um, so with the coloring, I use the pencil tool that's, um, because I guess it's its own tool so it doesn't, um, cross over the brush tool, if that makes sense. And so you can do shadows by just, kind of, let me just do a little thing here. Circle, oh, it's not quite a circle. Circle, mm. uh, pencil, and you can do that. Take off. And then you can delete this without interrupting that circle. But you can also do shadows by going like that, and then deleting the red, and then you have your nice little shadow. Um, so I did say that I was going to be doing the cool anime effects now, but I've got to do the other face because the animatic actually indicated that there was another face in it. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go through it all like I did with this face, just because it's pretty much the same process. Um, yeah, the same process that I didn't actually <laughs> explain. I'll get better at this, I promise you. But yeah, the next time that I'll I'll talk is when we're done both of the faces, and then we'll do the cool anime effects. Okay, so these are the two characters so far, and now we're going to move on to those cool anime effects I've been hyping up about. So here's the finished product. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it, how it all turned out. The um, petals could have been done a little better, but I kind of did all of this effect stuff like at 11 o'clock at night just to get it all done. 
and this is the next day now. Um, uh, another, another annoying thing was um, getting the little mask for the eye area, like over here, to sort of overlap, but in a grey. Something that I am kind of proud of, it's super basic, but these little shine things, they're basically just, they're a couple of layers. So here's a basic shine that I drew, and then I can find it, yeah. and then it just does this. And then this is a motion tween. It's the path for it to go like that. Very simple, but quite effective. Also. There is a lot of symbols in this. So, uh, this is main stage, and then if we go into like here, there's one symbol, there's another symbol, and then we go into further here, there's another symbol. Yeah, so there's just four layers of symbols. And for those who don't know, a symbol is basically like a group. When you group items together, you can move them as one object. Symbols also play when you have them on the timeline, and you can drop how many symbols that you want. And every time you change what's in the symbol, it changes on the timeline. Yeah, so this is everything. So if you like me kind of going in depth into how it work then let me know below. I'm sure I can improve on a lot of stuff. Yeah, I hope um, this was informative or just um, just a good look of you know how things are made, even though it's not super complex. Yeah, thanks for watching.